Hey, hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple objects which follow some certain path. Here you can see I have created these little coins and these coins are following some certain path. How we can do this in Blender? I'm going to show you now. So let's get started. There are different ways to do this. I'm going to show you some few of the ways. We are not going uh, into depth, but uh, after watching this video, you will be able to do this. Uh, the best way to learn is by creating projects. Let's create a little project. Let's create a coin. Uh, you know, in the surrounding of that coin, there could be some uh, object which is repeating. For example, circles are repeating around the coin or uh, some triangle, something like that. Let's, let's make it. Let's make a whole new scene. First step will be create a coin. I'm adding circle. F, Z, and here we go. Well, now we have the coin here. Now, what will be the task? Uh, sorry for the language, and I'm seeing a lot of now. Now, uh, the task will be we will make some circles around the coin here. And one one more thing I want to tell you: go to Edit and Preferences, and make sure here you have enabled Bool Tool and um, Curve Tools to do some uh, good stuff let's create the circle or the object which we want to repeat around the coin let's make this like okay so now uh, the object is created uh, what most of people do they do something like this they start duplicating it and putting like this it's 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 not good way because it's take a lot of time instead of this we can create some certain path in a circle and then uh, we can simply duplicate our uh, object and those objects will follow that path now how we do this i'm going to show you first step is add a path to add a path press shift a and then go to curve and in the curve there is a circle i will uh, press g z to make my uh, path appear on the top g z and controlling the path this is our path the second step will be i want to duplicate my um, object uh, in instead of pressing shift d again and again uh, we can simply use um, array modifier so select the object and go to the modifier select the array and here we can simply duplicate our object in faster way another step will be select the object and go to modifiers and uh, select this curve and in the curve there is a curve object so, uh, click on the picker and through this picker choose this uh, curve which we have created select this and here you can see these balls are now following uh, these objects are following the circle but the shape is not good why because this is our path and our object is far away from it so what we can do we can uh, select the object and press g and try to uh, uh, keep this object near our path press g and uh, try to push like this and here you can see the shapes are now getting in proper position and i can of course add some spacing and i will remove extra balls and this is how we do it this is the best way to do it um, and there is one more one more way i want to show you so let me show you uh, i will duplicate this coin here and go to the edit mode and i will uh, add a loop cut here in some cases uh, we don't want to create a path uh, you know by going going to this curve setting uh, in some cases we wanted uh, our objects to follow these loops in that case what what we can do we can simply select this loop in my case i'm uh, selecting this uh, center center one yeah and we can press space and search for the uh, uh, first i have to separate this of course so i will press p and then uh, selection p now this loop is separated and i will uh, go to the object mode and here i can see i'm able to select this uh, loop cut separately now 
now I, now I will press space and search for convert to uh, curve or I can also find this uh, option in objects and uh, now this is uh, our uh, new curve and we have to do the same uh, steps create the object which you want to get uh, repeated and this time it will be square here and for multiple squares I will add a modifier uh, array modifier and add some spacing and of course add a curve and then I can simply choose uh, this let me increase the size here. and I can simply in the curve object by selecting this picker select this uh, loop which we have created and here you can see it's following of course uh, we seeing some uh, distortion um, of object to improve this of course we have to keep this near the our uh, 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 curve keep this near the curve and all those issues will be resolved so this is how we do it and of course you want to create some uh, extra uh, paths like some s kind of path in that case go to shift a curve path and tab and top view i'm going and here you can simply create some uh, different kind of shapes uh, and that's very easy and to um, make it more big you can execute this uh, i don't know how to pronounce it but yes press e and like this you will be able to make something like this and then simply uh, steps will be same uh, select this object and now instead of uh, i'm cancelling this curve selection and i will use picker and select this new um, uh, curve which we have created and increase the count here like this and this is how it works so it's uh, quite easy to do it so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe and uh, make something make some kind of project and i would love to see it you can tag me on instagram or linkedin or any other social media platform thank you so much for watching i hope this video is helpful have a great day and please consider subscribing bye take care